Hi guys, welcome back to another MD video. My name is Michael and today we are going to be making a DIY radiator guard for the Triumph Street Triple. It's going to be awesome, stick around. So, like I mentioned, I'm making this radiator guard for the Street Triple, but you can do it for any bike that you have. The only difference will be the mounting points. So let's have a look at where I'm going to be mounting this radiator guard on the Street Triple, and then we'll go over all the components that we are going to be using to complete this project. Check it out. So this is a little bit difficult to see, but bear with me. We are going to be using the factory bolt that is on the underside of the radiator for a tab and then right up in here I'm not sure if you can see there's a little bracket right back here at the top somewhere there it is we're gonna be utilizing that put a bolt through it and then create a tab at the top and then on the other side of the top of the radiator mount itself we're going to be using that bolt over there and create another tab using that nut on the other side. Uh, the radiator bracket that's right at the bra back over here, there's another nut going through that and then we are going to be using that for another tab to secure the radiator guard. So this is what we are going to be using for the radiator guard. This is an aluminum grill I got from a local car part store modification store that sells a whole bunch of DIY bits and pieces for cars now this is 100 by 33 centimeters and I've measured the radiator length up and down obviously this is long enough so it should cover the whole thing up and down we're gonna need exactly 33 centimeters to create those tabs at each end of the grill itself this is nice uh, gloss black so it's gonna match up really nicely and we're gonna be using this cardboard that came with it and draw out a template so let's start with that So this is basically all we are going to need for the install. Some masking tape to tape the cardboard, some uh, wire cutters to cut the mesh, we've got a uh, blade to cut the cardboard, we're going to be measuring some stuff. I've got this little nut and bolt which is going to go through the top tab I showed you and then a pencil just to mark everything out. Simple as that. So I'm going to start by just measuring the radiator itself, just the front, top to bottom and side to side and get the exact dimensions and I'm going to cut out a square block on the cardboard uh, so that we have the base template and from that we will create our brackets or the tabs that's going to come off and attach itself to the bike and then we can masking tape those onto the cardboard and create the template. So let's get to it. So there we go, the first panel is ready and it fits perfectly. It is a little bit long side to side so I'm going to trim it by like half a mil on the side so it fits snugly and you don't have to force it in. Now I've marked out where the tabs need to go on this radiator guard and so basically I'm going to cut like centimeter thick maybe a little bit thicker, maybe two. Uh, so it's got nice support uh, strips of cardboard and then I'm going to tape them to this main panel and start making uh, brackets and see where they fit in line up. And then we are gonna be test fitting, retaping, recutting, and it's a bit of a tedious process over and over until we see that they line up perfectly and are ready to be mounted. 
and then basically we can take this whole cardboard template put it on top of the aluminum uh, radiator guard and then start cutting it out Okay, so basically the first template for the first mounting tab is done. Now I've got three more to go. It's a lot of back and forth as you can see, so let's get to it. So there is a slight issue, as you can see, uh, these tabs, they fit into the dimension of the mesh. This one does not. I think we're gonna have to do a separate little piece that we're gonna cut out and perhaps uh, just use small cable ties and attach it to the main radiator uh, guard piece and then it runs into the separate little tab that's gonna go about the back and attach to the bottom of the radiator. So this is going to take quite a bit of time to cut out, so I'll catch you when I'm done. Okay, we sort of got a radiator guard and uh, the most important thing is if we mess it up, there's enough left to do another one. So at least we've got another shot at it if it goes wrong. Okay, some uh, bad news. Uh, we've gone through this whole entire ordeal of creating these tabs, but uh, I think they are just too flimsy and they are not gonna hold. I think the best is gonna be just to cut them off and to find some decent space and use black cable ties and just tie it down on those same mounting points where I was going to put these tabs. I think it's gonna hold it a lot better and I don't think you're really gonna see it. So let's try that. So I was thinking the whole stealth black look of the uh, radiator guard is nice and I do like it, but let's take it one step further. I think we need to add a Triumph logo on this and make it pop so it looks super cool. So what I've done is I've printed a Triumph logo that's basically going to go right in the middle of this. We're going to cut it out, basically make a template and then we are going to spray it silver so it matches the silver on the bike, kind of. And I think that's going to look kind of cool. So let's try that. So because I don't have a vinyl cutter and I'm cutting out this by hand, I'm not going to attempt doing the Triumph name as it's going to be too difficult. So I'm going to go with a big logo, basically the triangle border with the wings and we're going to try and attach this probably with some uh, tape or some other glue or something so we can get it down and then mist this lightly and get it nice and silver and then when we peel it back we should have a type of logo on here which should look pretty cool. Okay as you saw I used some spray mount um, adhesive it's made by 3M, it's non-wrinkle, so it works on the paper. Uh, this should hold, hopefully, strong enough so that when I spray it with the spray paint, it doesn't lift and the spray paint gets under it. 
but we're gonna have to do really light coats maybe three or four uh, just mist it ever so lightly so that uh, you know it doesn't get underneath it and hopefully I can peel this off without the paper staying behind and leaving any weird residue thanks for making it this far if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing if you like what you see. And if you feel like helping out the MD channel, check the donation link in the description down below. So I've given it three light coats. Uh, I'm going to let it dry and then we're going to see what it looks like. So it's looking good. Hopefully. There's no underspray that got underneath those uh, uh, pieces that we glued down and hopefully it looks good. So let's give it five minutes and peel it back. That is awesome. It is so subtle actually. You don't really see it, but I think up against the black radiator, it's gonna pop. And I think it came out pretty good. guys an easy DIY project you can tackle on your own bike I think it came out looking pretty good and it's definitely gonna protect the radiator against rocks and other debris that flies up off the road I'm gonna keep that radiator nice and protected my name is Michael and as always I hope you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and I'll check it out and as always I will see you on the next one see ya